Elizabeth Mary Windsor, no more at 96, but with a public service of over 70 years. Let's take a look at the most defining images showing the candid side also of Queen Elizabeth II. This on the sidelines of the G7 summit in England. Queen Elizabeth II hosted the dignitaries at the Eden Project, but when it came time to cut a cake, she opted for nothing but a sword. What else for the Queen of uh, Britain? And plunging the sword in, she made guests even laugh when she joked, and I quote her here, I think I might just put the knife in it. It was in 2017 when Queen Elizabeth II was spotted driving her Jaguar vehicle around the Windsor Castle. Photographers snapped the royal leader behind the wheel of a classic green Jaguar. She cruised through Windsor Park, people loving the sight of the classy monarch going about her commute in the signature style, complete with the hat, of course. Now, the ride coming uh, after the doctors told her to take more rest. So the scarf that she was seen wearing at most of the outdoor locations. Queen Elizabeth II, of course, had a very busy job as the sovereign of the United Kingdom and its uh, Commonwealth territories. Nonetheless, she never failed to prioritize time for her family and her 12 great-grandchildren. This you're looking at the three generations apart from hers in line of succession. While the monarch rarely spoke publicly about her family, she did share several sweet moments with her grandchildren, specifically at public events, including official royal outings and royal weddings. Making an impromptu visit to London Fashion Week in 2018, she sat in the front row with then Vogue editor-in-chief Dame Anna Winter. She, the royal family confirmed that the Queen's intention was to visit the London Fashion Week to present the inaugural Queen Elizabeth II Award for the British design. It was in 2014 that, uh, that the Queen Elizabeth also visited Visited the Game of Thrones set in Ireland. Britain's Queen Elizabeth looking at the Iron Throne as she met the members of the cast on the set of the very popular television show. And definitely to the world, it is the end of an era. The world leaders, presidents, prime ministers and monarchs around the world have paying tribute to the life and service of Queen Elizabeth II. Many of them reflecting on a 70-year almost reign that uh, included also some of the most turbulent and decisive moments for her, for the modern British world and the history globally. Listen in and take a look at the special report about the tributes pouring in. Condolences to the people of the United Kingdom at the very sad demise of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She has been one of the longest reigning monarchs and was a true friend of India. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has also shared his own experiences with Her Majesty. For the people of England, for all of us, may her soul rest in peace and may God give strength to her family and the people of uh, the United Kingdom to bear this tremendous loss. With great sorrow, Brazil receives the news of death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II an extraordinary and singular woman whose example of leadership, humility and love for her country will continue to inspire us and the whole world until the end of time. On this sad day for the world, we decree three days of official mourning and invite all Brazilian people to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. With the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, an historic reign and a long life devoted to duty, family faith and service has come to an end. This is a morning of sadness for the world, for the Commonwealth and all Australians. It is a day of profound sadness and grief for the royal family who have lost a beloved mother, grandmother and great-grandmother, the person who for so long was their greatest inner strength. Queen Elizabeth II will be remembered as one of the best queens of all times. Due to her dignity, sense of duty, courage and a commitment to her people, 
always and at all times. The United Kingdom and the world is in mourning. I have already sent to His Majesty King Charles III and the entire British royal family and the whole of the United Kingdom our pain and sorrow in the name of Spanish people.